Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, yes. Okay, good evening. Good to see you. We have Kimberly Nolasco, Marvin Joseph Salazar, Rodrigo Daniel, Ciro Mira. Okay, five participants. Very good. Okay, that is great. Okay, we're going to start now. We only have an hour, so we need to use time wisely. So let me start sharing the screen. Over there. There you go. Okay. Can you see the presentation I'm showing? Yes. yes okay. Teacher. Excellent. How are you? How was Hi, your day? You? Doing good. Hi. Thank you very much. Okay, Ciro, thank you. Kimberly, how are you? I'm good. It's raining. It's raining. Yeah, when it's raining, I enjoy sleep. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have a class. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I can't. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. No, when it's raining, I'm a little bit, I'm afraid, okay, that we may have a you know a blackout okay you know when electricity just goes away uh, i, I hope know. that's not the case okay it's, it's raining here too just a little bit right now okay but, i hope it doesn't get any heavier is it salvador or what do you in, mean in san salvador i live in uh, ciudad delgado san salvador, sí. mm, yeah, so it's right. in san salvador okay, okay. Uh, marvin how are you marvin <laughs> Marvin, it's not here. <laughs> Hello, Sul teacher. How Hi. are you? Doing good. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay, we have Navy. How are you, Navy? So far, so good, teacher. So far, so good. That's great. And also, we have Sulma with us today. We also have, let me see, uh, Hello. Rodrigo Daniel. Hello. Okay, Rebecca. Hello, Hello Sulma. Uh, Rebecca Estefania, or Stephanie, Stefania, right? Josue Rivas, Diego Anthony, and Jessica Rosales. So everybody, welcome. Okay, this is our second class. It's Inglés uh, Intermedio, Modulo 3. This is me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is Intermediate 3, Session 2. And today, September the 6th, 2022, or 2022, as you prefer. We're going to begin now, okay? So um, what was yesterday's topic? Do you remember? What was the topic? Who can tell me? We were uh, learning about the passive with by. Okay, good. We were learning about the passive voice with by. Thank you, Kimberly. So um, we didn't finish the topic, so we're going to continue today. Let's take a look. These are the lesson objectives. In this class, participants will be first introduced to passive voice using by. We started this yesterday, but we will continue today. Also, by the end of this class, students will notice the different ways the letter O is pronounced. We're going to study a little bit of pronunciation, okay? So two objectives today. There's a lot of material, a lot of things to do. We're going to be working on the breakout rooms too. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. But first, a review. Okay, let's review the structure of a passive sentence. You have the active sentence right here. They built the Eiffel Tower in 1889. That's the active sentence right there. If you remember yesterday, we studied something like a method, let's say, a method to convert an active sentence into a passive one, okay? So um, I want you to tell me about that method. I want you to tell me the steps, okay? So uh, what is the first thing that you need to identify or find? What is the first thing? It's an open question. Anyone can participate. Always remember to raise your hand, your digital hand. Navy, okay, Navy, what is the first uh, thing we need to find? The verb. The verb, that is correct. And what is the verb? Built. Built, that is good. Built. That's right, okay? That's the first thing we need to find, the verb. The verb is built. 
but it's not the only thing we need to identify. We have found the verb, the verb is built, but there is another thing that we need to know. What is that? It's related to the verb. What is the other thing we need to know about the verb? Who remembers? Uh -huh. uh, Rebecca, Rebecca, please. The object and the, uh, the subject. Okay, yes, we need to find the object and the subject. But before that, we need to identify something else. It's here in the verb. And it's very important because if we skip this, then we won't be able to convert this sentence into the passive voice. Very important, you need to find the tense. You need to determine the tense. This is the main verb, built, but also we need to know that it's in past simple, as you can see here, okay? That's very, very important. If we forget to determine the verb tense, then we will have trouble converting this sentence into the passive voice, okay? So don't forget, very important. Okay, then uh, Rebecca told us that we need to find the subject and the object, okay? What is the subject of the sentence? Who can help me? What's the subject in this sentence? Mm -hmm. The Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower is not the subject. It's a different element. Okay. They, 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 the they will be the subject. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they. Oh. They is the subject. It's the subject and also the agent. Why? Because these people, whoever they are, we don't know their names, they did the action. They performed the action. They built the Eiffel Tower. Okay? So that's the subject and also the agent in this sentence. And then after that, we need to find the object. And as Kimberly said, the object is the Eiffel Tower. Okay, now, um, how do you find the object? Let's see who remembers. Who remembers this? How do you find the object of a verb? Mm -hmm. There is a question that you need to answer. What is that question? Very short question. Ah, you don't remember. No problem. Uh, Rebecca wants to participate. What they do? Okay, what or who also. So they built, they built what? The answer is the Eiffel Tower. That's the object. That's how you find the object. Okay, very good. And then we have the complement of the sentence, which is in 1889. Now to form the passive, what do we need? Don't be shy. You can participate. You need the chair. You need, I'm sorry? Ciro, mira. Okay, uh, Ciro, I'm sorry. What do we need? The passive is uh, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower, correct. We begin with the object from the active sentence. Okay, we use the object, we put it at the beginning, and that's the new subject. But be careful, it's not the agent anymore. Okay, so the Eiffel Tower. After that, what do we need? Thank you, Ciro. Thank you very much. Verb to be. We need the verb be. That is good. We need the verb be. And very important, how do we know the form of the verb be? Us. It's in the past. Uh, that was Marvin, right? Okay. Um, and how do you know it's in past? Jessica wants to participate. Was. Okay, it is was. But why is that? Because we're going to use the verb be in the same verb tense that we identified in the active sentence. If we identified past simple or we determined the verb tense was past simple, then you're going to use the verb be in past simple. So yeah, the answer is was. 
the Eiffel Tower was. What is the next element in the passive sentence? Remember, if you want to participate, raise your hand, your digital hand. Press the bottom. What's the next element? Okay, Jessica. Bye. Bye. Mm, there's something before that. Uh, Kimberly, I think she's raising her hand. <laughs> <laughs> the verb was built. Okay, all right. Okay, we need the main verb. But in what form? Rebecca. In past participle. We need the verb, the main verb in past participle. That is correct. And the past participle of the verb build is also built. Okay, so the Eiffel Tower was built. And then we have this in 1889. In this case, it is not necessary for us to say by them because we don't know the names of these people. We don't know exactly who built the Eiffel Tower. It's not necessary, so we don't need to mention that. But that's a topic uh, for tomorrow. Okay, today we have to focus on you know the use of the passive voice with by. But yeah, this is a structure. The active sentence is they built the Eiffel Tower in 1889. The passive sentence is the Eiffel Tower was built in 1889. Thank you very much. Okay, this is a short review. So um, very important, you have to remember that the passive voice always includes these two elements. The two elements are the verb be and the main verb in past participle. Okay. The verb be could be in present. Sometimes it's am, is, or are. It could be in past, was, or where. That is determined by the verb tense that you identified in the active sentence. Okay? Now, speaking of past participles, we have to remember this too. There are regular verbs and irregular verbs. Let's take a look. Some regular verbs include agree, what is the past form of agree? Who can tell me? Volunteers, don't be afraid. What is the past of agree? Remember to raise your hand, the digital hand. <laughs> we have no volunteers today. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you then. Agree. The past form is agreed, and the past participle is also agreed. And that's the thing about regular verbs. Okay, normally to make a verb in past and past participle, if it's regular, you have to add D, ED, or you need to change it to IED in some cases. The past form and the past participle are exactly the same. They are spelled the same. There is no difference. We have the verb brush, for example, the past form and the past participle are brushed and brushed, okay? Clean, past form, cleaned, past participle, cleaned. Decide, decided, and past participle, decided. Enjoy, the past is enjoyed, the past participle is also enjoyed. Help, the past form is helped, the past participle is also helped. Open, the past form is opened, the past participle opened. Travel, the past is traveled. The past participle is also traveled. So that's the thing. Remember, with regular verbs, the past participle has the same spelling as the past form. So it's easy. If you know how to make the past form of a, a regular verb, you also know the past participle. Very simple. The problem comes here, irregular verbs. Irregular verbs don't follow any rules. In other words, if you want to know irregular verbs, you need to memorize them. That's the only solution, okay? No rules here, just memorization. Examples, okay, but I need you to participate this time. Let's see, base form, there's the verb be. What is the past of the verb be? It what? has two forms, what? was or? Where? Where, what? correct, or where? was or where, very good. Thank you very much. And the past participle? Been. It's been. Very good. Become? What's the past of become? Come. 
become? Mm, not exactly. The past of become is became. Became. Okay. Became. Okay. And the past part is. <laughs> That's participle. Become. Become. Okay. In this case, it's uh, the spelling is this, and the spelling and pronunciation are the same as the base form. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. What about the verb choose? What's the past of choose? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Choose. Mm, choose is the base form. The past form is chose chose and the past participle Rodrigo chosen chosen that is correct okay good what about the verb fall what is the past of fall feel uh, feel is a different verb <laughs> fell fell that's right the past is fell and the past participle Fallen. Fallen. Correct. Okay. Good. Then you have the verb forget. What's the past of forget? Forgot. Forgot. Very good. And the past participle? Forgotten. Forgotten. Good. All right. What about the verb leave? Left. Left. That's the past form. And the past participle, you know it? Left. It's also left. Very good. What about the verb put? What is the past of put? Put. It's also put. And the past participle? Put. It's the same. It's also put. Very good. OK, in some cases, the base form, the past form, and the past participle are exactly the same. And finally, we have the verb speak. What is the past of speak? Spark. Spoke, okay, spoke, and the past participle? Spoken. spoken, okay, spoken. You have to be careful with the pronunciation. This is spoke, you know, Spock. Spock el que salía en viaje a la estrella. This is spoke, okay? So speak, spoke, mm -hmm. spoken, okay? Okay, now uh, there are many more irregular verbs. So my advice is download a list. If you go into Google, Sorry, you go into Google, you search for it, you will find a lot of websites with a lot of lists of irregular verbs. Okay, so um, please, uh, I need you to memorize those. Okay, do yourselves a favor and little by little, every day, one or two, three, okay, you memorize them. Okay, so remember for the passive voice, we need only the past participle. We don't need the past form. We don't need the base form. We only need the past participle of the regular verb or the past participle of the regular verb. Now, I remember yesterday, I think Ciro asked me, what's the difference between active and passive? Okay, remember this, active sentence. We're going to use the same example from yesterday. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Now, this is an active sentence, why? In an active sentence, the subject, and in this case, the subject is Alexander Graham Bell, uh, the subject does the action of the verb. He invented the phone. He did the action. So if the person or the thing who does the action is at the beginning of the sentence, then you have an active sentence. Alexander Graham Bell invented, invented what? The telephone. That's an active sentence. What is a passive sentence? The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. In a passive sentence, the subject, in this case is the telephone, receives the action of the verb, okay? The telephone didn't do anything. Alexander Graham Bell did something, okay? The telephone only received the action but the telephone didn't do anything. El teléfono no hizo nada. Al teléfono lo hicieron. El teléfono no hizo nada solo. So that's the passive voice. Another difference is, as we mentioned before, in a passive sentence, you have to use the verb be, in this case was, and the main verb in past participle. Okay? That's basically the difference between 
active and passive. And right now, we're going to check your understanding of this. This is your turn, okay? I'm going to send you uh, this picture. Just give me a second here. I'm going to send you this picture so you can have it because we're going to go into the breakout rooms. Remember, when we are in the breakout rooms, I have to monitor, but the moment I enter one of the rooms, I stop sharing the screen. Okay, so I'm going to send you this picture right now so you can have it on WhatsApp. Let's see right here. Okay, I'm sending you the picture. All right, if you check your WhatsApp, you will find this slide right there. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to start the breakout rooms. And what, are you, what is your task right now? Select the correct active or passive form. We're going to do the first one together. Fiat, the cars, started or was started by a group of Italian businessmen in 1899. I need a volunteer. What is the correct form? Started or was started? Was started. Was started. Uh, who said that? Quién me participó ahí? Bueno, quién participó? Tiene razón. <laughs> Marvin. Okay, Marvin. Okay. Uh, always remember. Raise your hand. Okay. Raise your hand. Si no levantamos la mano, entonces me pierdo un poquito yo porque son tantos en la lista que solo escucho la voz, pero digo, no sé quién habló. Entonces, si levantamos la mano, yo le cedo la palabra y sé exactamente quién está participando. Thank you, Marvin. So, Fiat was started by a group of Italian businessmen in 1899. Why was started? Because Fiat is receiving the action of the verb. This is the passive voice. The group of Italian businessmen did the action. They started Fiat. Okay? Now your task is you need to select the active or passive form of the verbs and you're going to do it in pairs, okay? Por favor, vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Va a trabajar con un compañero asignado al azar. Eh, yo voy a empezar a entrar. Eh, les pido por favor que no sean tímidos y hablen con el compañero. Ocupen el micrófono, ¿verdad? No pongan la cámara si no quieren salir, pero sí hablen con el compañero, ¿verdad? Que no, no entre yo y escuche silencio. Están trabajando individualmente. No, trabajemos en grupo. Esa es la idea del breakout room. So, let's begin. Oops. Give me a second. Oh, it's over here. Okay, we have, uh, let's see, 15 people. So, we're going to make... Seven groups. Here we go. Okay, and uh, the first group we have Maritza and Sulma, group number two, Josue Rivas and Mayra, uh, group number three, Jessica and Rodrigo, group four, Diego and Erasmo, and group five we have Ciro and Marvin, group six, Nady and Rebecca, and in group seven we have Kimberly and Rodrigo Daniel. Okay, so I'm going to open the groups right now and I want you to start working, okay? I'm going to be monitoring. Please uh, check your WhatsApp, check the group, okay? Because I sent you the picture right there. Let's start. I'm going to enter the groups, okay, one by one. Everybody, please accept the invitation, okay? Let's see, uh, Maritza, Mayra, Mayra Lorena, okay. I need you to join the group, please. You'll be working with Josue Rivas. Mayra Lorena. Isa se levantó, Mayra. Bueno, si en, bueno, vamos a esperar que entre Mayra eh, en el caso de Josue. Eh, para mí entra va a trabajar usted sola, okay. Si no entra, entonces lo vamos a asignar a uno diferente. Ok, comencemos. Let's begin. I'm going to enter room one. Oh. 
En la primera línea, dice, bueno, el compañero contestó que era Quack Start. Empecé con Line, que ya. Sería Fiat, ¿verdad? Porque es como. Es una empresa, ¿verdad? Es un grupo. Entonces, sería Fiat. That is correct. Fiat is the, is the company that produces cars. Se dice 132. Hello, Josué. Josué, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, you're working alone today. Do you want to join a different group or do you want to work alone? Um, different, different group. Um, a different group. Okay, I'm going to send you to a different group then. Okay. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Do you have any questions? Anything Hello, I can help you with? Como vamos? We finish. Okay. Ya terminamos. Solo le vamos a decir a Josué arriba porque se acaba de conectar. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to into a different room. Thank okay. you. Hello. Diego and Erasmo, how are we doing? Um, um, in the second row. In the fourth line. Ah, okay. Um, uh -huh. Do you have any questions or anything that you want to consult? Uh, no, ahorita vamos bien. Okay. All right, then. I'm going into a different group, then. All right. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi. We're okay. finished. Have you finished? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm just monitoring. I'm going to enter a different a different group right now. Okay. Then we're going to check answers together. Okay. Okay. Hello, ladies. Hello. Okay. Um, how Hello. are you doing? Es que dice que se venden en todo el mundo. En la última. Ah, you're acá. the last one. Okay. Yeah, is... Any questions or comments? I have a question. Um, the sentence is in the present, right? But 
They, they, Fiat is based in Turin and its cars. Mm -hmm. Fiat is sold. based in Turin and its cars uh, sold. sold or are sold all over the world. There's only one correct answer. Only sold. Sold all over the world. Sold. Okay. Are you sure? Sold. Aquí es donde tenemos que hacer el análisis. El, el sujeto es its cars, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿quién vende los carros? ¿Se venden ellos solos o los vende la compañía? La compañía. Uh -huh. Por lo tanto, ellos reciben la acción del verbo. ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta entonces? Are sold. Are sold. That's right. It's the passive voice. Okay. Okay. I'm going into the last uh, group. See you in a few minutes. Hello, uh, Kimberly and Rodrigo. Have you finished? Okay. You have finished. Okay. Good. So. Okay, we're going to check answers right now then. Okay. <laughs> perfecto. Okay. Okay, can you hear me? All right, everybody, can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes, it's OK, yes. great. OK, yes. OK, great. We're going to check answers right now. All right, so uh, you have Fiat was started by a group of Italian businessmen in 1899, OK? What about the next sentence? I need a volunteer to read the sentence in and then you finish it in cars okay so i want you to start here and finish here i need a volunteer who can tell me okay maritza Phil, Phil was started with a group of italian management in 1899 okay then in 1903. Uh -huh. And uh, but what about this one? Because uh, this was the example. OK, but what about the second sentence? In 1903. Mm -hmm. 1903. Phil was brothers. Um, one hundred and thirty-two. One hundred in the two Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, Maritza. Let's take a look. In nineteen oh three, Fiat uh, Maritza said was produced one hundred and thirty-two cars. Um, do you agree? I'm asking the rest right now. Do you agree, or do you have a different answer? Uh, uh, no, de esta misma. Uh, uh, in... Sería Fiat produced or Fiat was produced? ¿Qué dicen los demás? Was Fiat produced. Sulma says Fiat produced. That is the correct form. Fiat produced. Porque fueron ellos, fue la compañía la que produjo los carros. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it's active boys. Fiat produced 132 cars. Okay, very good. I need a volunteer for the next sentence, please. La siguiente oración, voluntario. Levanten su manita digital, por favor. 
Okay, Sulma. Okay, Sriya. Some of the discards um, were. Me perdí. Some Sport. of the discards were exported by the company uh, to the United States and this time. In Britain. Okay. Britain. Britain. Yeah. Thank you. That is correct. Some of these cars were exported by the company to the United States and Britain. Okay. Porque los carros no se mandaron solos. La compañía los mandó. Okay. So, passive voice. Very good. Thank you. Uh, next sentence, please. Volunteer. Press the bottom. Raise your hand. Ciro. Okay, Ciro. Zero? Sorry, sorry, ah, teacher. Sorry. Ah, the microphone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. FIA start marking, making car a new factory in Lingoto. Near Turin. Near so, Turin. yeah, Fiat started, correct. It's active voice. Fiat started making cars at a new factory in Lingoto near Turin. Very good. Thank you, Ciro. Okay. So, uh, for the next one, I need a volunteer. Please raise your hand, your digital hand. Don't be shy. Let's participate. Si se equivoca, lo peor que puede pasar es que lo voy a corregir respetuosamente. <laughs> y va a aprender. Okay. Vamos. ¿Quién me puede ayudar con la siguiente? There was a track on the roof. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand, please. Okay. Ciro wants to participate again. Okay, Ciro. Okay. There was a track on the roof where the cars test by Technicia. Were the cars tested by technicians? Hmm. Yes. I'm asking the rest right now. Do you agree or do you have a different answer? <laughs> that was, uh, okay. Were uh -huh. test, test Were tested by technician. Mm -hmm. okay. Passive voice, okay. ¿Por qué? Yes. Porque son los técnicos los que probaban los carros y no los carros okay. se probaban ellos solos. Entonces, the cars were tested by technicians. Okay, passive voice. Okay, thank you very much. How about the next one? Who can tell me? Volunteer, please. Marvin and then Rebecca. Okay, ladies first, dama primero. Okay, Rebecca and for the next one we have Marvin. So Rebecca. In 1936, we mm have, -hmm. how do you pronounce the this? Fiat launched. Uh -huh. Launched mm -hmm. the Fiat 500. Mm -hmm. This car called the Topolino, the Italian name for Mickey Mouse. Okay. Pero nuevo la pregunta. ¿Es el carro el que se llamó a sí mismo o le pusieron un nombre al carro? Le pusieron un nombre. Was Ajá. called. Was called. Así es. Okay. Entonces, el carro recibió la acción. Recibió ese nombre. Okay. So this car was called the Topolino, the Italian name for Mickey Mouse. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, Marvin, you go over the next one. The company grew in, in 1963 via mm -hmm. Explorer, more than uh, three, 300 miles. 300,000. 300,000. Vehicles. Vehicles. Okay, yeah. The company grew and in 1963 Fiat exported more than 300,000 vehicles. This is the active voice because Fiat did the action. Fiat performed the action. Fue la compañía la que mandó los carros. Okay, good. And the last one. Thank you, Marvin. The last one. I need a volunteer for the final sentence. Jose. Today, Fiat is passing in Turin and, and its cars sold and over the world. And its cars sold all over the world. Um, do you agree? The rest of the students, no. do you agree? No, no. Uh -huh. Are sold. Are sold. Are sold. All over the world. Are sold yeah. all over the world. Because Fiat sells the cars. Okay? Como los carros no se venden solos, sino que... La compañía los vende, entonces, the cars are sold all over the world. 
Okay, it's good practice right there. We have the chat. Uh, Sandra dice, sorry, my internet, my internet is unstable. Okay, well, thank you for letting us know. Thank you. Um, okay, it's 8.41. Before we continue, um, I need to know something, okay? Do you have questions about uh, the exercises in the platform? ¿Alguna pregunta en el ejercicio de la plataforma? No questions? No questions. Okay. No questions. Okay. Okay. Um, para ahora les recomendaría que trabajaran, si no lo han hecho aún, en el ejercicio 1.2, el knowledge check. No se los enseño porque ya lo resolví yo. <ríe> Entonces les voy a dar la respuesta. Ya me queda de elección. La próxima vez no lo voy a resolver. Porque no sé cómo quitar la respuesta, honestamente. Así que, eh, please, work in exercise 1.2. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Remember, ah, uh, Maritza, Maritza needs to participate. Me escuchas. Sí, sí. Mm, disculpe, es que el... No me. Perdón, eh, no había visto la mano. Sí. Eh, es decir, eh, one eh, nine. One nine. What do you mean? Eh, siempre en el, en el mismo ejercicio uno, pero solamente 1.9 es el que. No, no puedo desarrollar. Vamos a ver, en este ejercicio que estoy mostrando ahorita, el knowledge check. Mm. No. Mm, permítame que me que este es el primer ejercicio. Uh -huh. Sí, siempre. Ajá. Okay. Eh, 1.9. Ajá, sí. es, pero era de crear. Las oraciones, pero en sí no. Ah, 1.9, estamos por acá. Ajá. The knowledge uh -huh. check. F. Ah, F. bueno. Chicos, ok. Yo no pensé Permíteme, voy a quitarle aquí las respuestas porque ya están, ¿verdad? para no. Uy, pero ya no la puedo quitar. Ah, ¿cómo no? Se le puede borrar. Ok, just a moment. Si están de acuerdo, digan sí. Ok, veamos. Me dijo entonces, this one, right? Number nine. No, eh, todo el sí. ejercicio, ¿verdad? Eh, todo el, o sea, es que lo uh -huh. empecé haciendo, pero no, no, en sí no me salió ninguna de las tres. Ah, que, de veras. Que empecé okay. a hacer, entonces digo yo, tal vez el punto, algo. Um, sí, muchas veces en este tipo de ejercicio lo que tenemos que hacer es evitar, digamos, eh, poner mayúsculas innecesarias. Eh, dejar espacios innecesarios a veces dejamos un espacio al principio o al final y eso nos puede digamos eh, como es automático verdad puede calificarlo como incorrecto cuando lo mejor está correcto veamos cómo sería la primera por dar un ejemplo porque este es un ejercicio del eh, siempre está en esta unidad pero es lo que vamos a ver el día de mañana pero podemos responderlo por supuesto many crops verdad muchos cultivos many crops ¿Qué respuesta sí. había colocado, Maritza? Sí, creo que había puesto Manicrop Green in Taiwan. In Taiwan. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, ahí tenemos... Eh, ahí hay uh, unas observaciones, ¿verdad? La primera es, como es Passive Voice, necesitamos dos cosas. Lo primero que necesitamos es el verbi. Ok. El verbi. Uh -huh. Entonces, veamos la instrucción. Dice, complete these sentences using the simple present. Simple present, passive form of the verbs in brackets. Desde que nos dicen simple present, significa que vamos a ocupar el verb be en simple present. Significa que nuestras opciones son am, is, or are. ¿Ok? Si fuera en pasado, sería was and were. ¿Ok? Así que ahí empezamos. Many crops are. Esa es la primera oh. palabra. Many crops mm -hmm. are. And then we need the main verb in past participle. What is the past participle of grow? ¿Cuál yes. sería el past participle de grow? Sería grown. 
Esa es la respuesta ahí. Many crops are grown in Taiwan. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, si hay una confusión ahí, recordemos que todas están en passive voice, por lo tanto, todas necesitan el verb be. Como dice que present simple, nada más, se va a utilizar am, is, o are. Y luego el verbo en past participle. Ok. Con este creo que sí, ya me voy. Ahí está. <laughs> ok, good. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome. All right, let's continue. Um, remember, ok, with passives, we are mostly interested in the action. What happens? Example, the missing girl was found. La niña que estaba perdida fue encontrada. Was found. Ok. ¿Qué es lo que nos interesa? Que la encontraron. So, with passives, we are mostly interested in the action. We're talking about what happens. Ok. Another example. The earrings were made in the first century before Christ or BC. We're interested in the fact that the earrings were made in the first century. If we want to say who or what does the action, we use by, okay? If you want to focus on the doer of the action, the agent. You say, the missing girl was found by a French family. That means a French family found the missing girl. The earrings were made by a Roman goldsmith, okay? So the person who made the earrings was a Roman goldsmith. Always remember, right? We use by to say who does the action of the verb. Okay. Now passive voice. We're going to do this exercise. Complete each sentence with by and the best expression from the box. So you need to use by and an expression from here. A farmer, a tree, loud music, a committee, and the government. Okay, let's see. Volunteer, I need a volunteer right here for the first one. The name of the new school was decided. Y hay que ocupar by y ponerle ahí, Ciro. And then by Rodrigo, the number two. Hmm? The, the name of the new school was decided by the government. By the government of parents, mm, probably not. Oh. Second opportunity, second opportunity. Uh, <laughs> by, by a committee. Commit. By a committee. Yes, Committee. okay, yeah, yeah, correct. Very good, thank you, Ciro. Okay, eh, me estaba levantando la mano también. Y me estaba levantando la mano. <laughs> Rodrigo, okay, Rodrigo, Antonio. The second one, please. Uh, by the government. Okay, can you can you help me read the whole sentence? Most of the cost of my university education is Paid by the government. By the government. Correct. Thank you. Okay, good. Number three, I need a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand. Okay, Sulma. All the neighbors were walking up and a tree coming from the park. By a tree coming from the park. <laughs> mm, probably not. Yeah. Second opportunity. <laughs> Adivinando, ¿sí? No, 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 no. Veamos ahí. All the neighbors uh, were woken up. Remember, you have, uh, they woke up. They were sleeping and, okay, they woke up. So all the neighbors were woken music. up. Loud music. Ajá, but you need uh -huh. to use. Uh, by loud mm -hmm. music. By loud music. Coming from the park. Yes, okay. Thank you, Sulma. Okay, thank you. All, <laughs> you're welcome. All the neighbors were woken up by loud music coming from the park. Good. Okay, for the next one, I need a volunteer. Raise your digital hand, please. Maritza. I did both of grammar and words. Jewelry. Jewelry was born in a field. Was found? Was found in a field. Mm -hmm. A farmer in English. Okay, but you need to use the, by, uh, by, right? By a farmer in England. Okay, good. A big box of Roman jewelry was found in a field by a farmer in England. So, very good. 
the last one. I need a volunteer. Please raise your digital hand for this. Mm -hmm. Volunteers, please. Miro you know, Kimberly. <laughs> okay, Kimberly. Yes. Okay, thank you. The rule was a match by a tree that fell over already in the storm. Mm -hmm. The roof was damaged by a tree poof, that fell over in the storm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Yes, sir. Excellent. It's 8.51. Wow, it's late. Okay. Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to cover the pronunciation topic today. We're going to cover it tomorrow, but we have one final activity right here. This is the group activity. We finish with this. Answer the questions, choose your answers from the box. Okay, ya le voy a mostrar como es. When we check your answers, you will have to use the passive voice with by. Van a ver una serie de preguntas ahí y las posibles respuestas. Vamos a ver, quién sabe, esto es cultura general. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Who painted the Mona Lisa? Who knows? Mm -hmm. da, Vinci. da Vinci, that's right. Leonardo Da Vinci. Okay, very good. Pero cuando me den la respuesta al finalizar el ejercicio, tienen que hacerlo en passive voice. O sea, the Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo Da Vinci. Esa va a ser la respuesta que busco. Entonces, mi recomendación es, escríbanla, ¿de acuerdo? Escríbanla todos. Así que, vamos a mostrar. Aquí está. Ok, this is the group activity. You have the questions. Who discovered America? Who invented the first car? Who designed the Eiffel Tower? Who directed Titanic? Who composed the Turkish March? Who wrote Hamlet? And who built the pyramids? The possible answers are Gustave Eiffel, Christopher Columbus, Thomas Edison, James Cameron, ancient Egyptians, Carl Benz, Mozart, and William Shakespeare. Vamos a entrar a los breakout rooms. Le voy a mandar esta imagen por medio de WhatsApp. Quiero ver. Ya está. Voy a mandar las dos. But I have a question. Sure. I, What's your question? I don't know all of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't well, know. How don't worry. Don't worry. You you have the internet. Okay. Use the internet. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Google okay, it. <laughs> if you don't know the answer, Google the answer. Okay. okay. okay no problem. <laughs> okay. So we're going to. Um, getting to the breakout rooms right now, okay? Los mismos grupos de la vez pasada. Vamos a comenzar, vamos. Please everybody, join the group. I'm going to enter the groups right now, okay? I'm going to start with uh, room one with Maritza and Sulma. Hello. Hello. Okay, first question. Who discovered America? Cristóbal <laughs> Colón. Ah, but in English? <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of Cristóbal Colón in English? Ahí está en la lista. Las opciones son Gustave Eiffel, Christopher Columbus, Thomas Edison, James Cameron. Ah, Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus, así es. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría la primera oración? Tienen que decírmelo en passive voice. America uh -huh. was uh, discovered. Uh -huh. 
Me acuerdo de la estructura. Uh, so far, so good. Ah. America was discovered by... By... Uh -huh, by uh, Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. Very good. Okay, great. Okay. All right, I'm going into the next room. See you. Okay. Hello, are we working together? Hello. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, just uh, checking right here. Who invented the first car? Carl Benz. Carl Benz, okay. Carl so can, what is the passive sentence? The first car was invented by Oh, Bingo. Okay, that is correct. Very good. Okay, yes. please continue. I'm going to jump into the next room. Thank you. Hello. Just uh -huh. check in progress. Okay, um, yeah. let's do number three together. Who designed the Eiffel Tower? Justo por eso vamos. <laughs> bueno, entonces uh, vamos con la anterior. Gustave okay. Eiffel. Gustave Eiffel. Okay, that's Gustave right. Eiffel. Yes, okay, yes. so what is the uh, passive sentence? Sería um... was designing. Mm, comenzamos con el object, que sería the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel, sí, sí, sí. The, Eiffel, uh -huh. the Eiffel Tower was designed, was designed the Eiffel Tower. for by Alexander Gustave. Okay. Alex, uh, Gustave Eiffel, right? Gustave Eiffel. Okay, yeah. The Eiffel Tower was designed by Gustave Eiffel. Okay. Okay, good. All right. I'm jumping into the next room. See you later. Thanks. Uh -huh. Hello, Bye. gentlemen. Okay, I'm just checking Hi. right here. Hello. What about uh, number four? Who directed Titanic? The Titanic. Mm -hmm. uh, James Cameron. James Cameron, correct. So Cameron. what is the passive sentence? Uh, the Titanic was direct by directed by uh -huh. James Cameron. By James Cameron. Bingo. Okay, very good. I'm going to jump into the next room. See you later. See you later. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Hello, ladies. Okay, just checking. Um, uh, monitoring right here. Let's go over question five. Who composed the Turkish march? Um, Do you know the Turkish march? No. That's the Turkish march. So, who composed the Turkish march? El único compositor que aparece ahí en la lista. Mozart. Mozart, correct. Okay, so um, can you tell me the passive sentence? The Turkish march mm -hmm. was composed by Mozart. By Mozart, correct. The Turkish oh, march okay. was composed by Mozart. Very good. Okay, thank you, ladies. Uh, I'm going to jump into the final room. See you in a minute. See you. Okay. Hello. Monitoring here. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you number six. Let's see. Who wrote Hamlet? Uh, oh, no, 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 Hamlet was wrote by William Shakespeare. Okay, uh, pero hay algo que nos falla ahí. Hamlet el, was, no puede ser wrote porque wrote, wrote es el past form. Tenemos que ocupar uh -huh. el past participle. What's the past participle of write? 
Uh -huh. Sería written. written. Ajá, entonces la oración sería. Hamlet was written by William Shakespeare. Correct. Very good. Ok. Ya son las nueve, vamos a salir de las salas. <laughs> ok. Ok, teacher. All right. Thank you. Es que yo Hola Maritza, me parece que solicitó ayuda. Sí, teacher, eh, la compañera se acaba sin internet. Híjole, bueno, ya casi terminamos de todas formas eh, y va a estar la clase disponible para que la vea más tarde. Pero gracias por avisarme. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Okay, everybody, uh, I'm closing the rooms and we're going to check the exercise. We're going to check the answers and uh, we're going to finish the class. Thank you, teacher. See you okay. tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. The answers. <laughs> okay. Solo revisamos la respuesta, de acuerdo. Okay. Y solo les comparto la pantalla aquí rapidín y revisamos. Okay, the first one, who discovered America? You have to give me the passive sentence. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. American was discovered by Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. Yeah, America yeah. was discovered by Christopher Columbus. That is correct. Okay, nice. Okay, Kimberly, I saw you raising your hand. So the second one, who invented the first car or who invented the car? Okay, um, the first car was invented by Carbenz. Yes, the first car was invented by Carbenz. Very good, thank you, Kimberly. Okay, number three. Volunteers, raise your hand, please, your digital hand. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Maritza, who designed the Eiffel Tower? Her band was the first time. Creo que estamos en la número tres. Who designed the, the, the Eiffel Tower? Entonces decimos the Eiffel Tower. And uh, 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 usar el el was the Okay. Eh, si lo hacemos en ese orden, estamos diciendo que la Torre Eiffel diseñó a Gustavo Eiffel. Cuando es al revés, Gustavo Eiffel diseñó a la Torre Eiffel. Entonces nos quedaría así. The Eiffel Tower was designed by Gustave Eiffel. Okay. Por cierto, al final de la clase les voy a mandar esta diapositiva con las respuestas por medio de, de WhatsApp. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Uh, who directed Titanic? Volunteer. Rapidito, que son, ya no fue el tiempo, pero no quiero dejar esto en el aire. Uh -huh. Volunteers, who directed Titanic? Marvin. Titanic, Titanic was... This the the right by uh -huh. Titanic was Gustavo directed by Gustavo Eiffel. Gustavo Eiffel, no, <laughs> it was a different person. But the structure is good. Okay, let's see. Titanic was directed by James Cameron. <laughs> Sorry, <Okay>. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you, Marvin. Uh, the next one, who composed the Turkish March? The Turkish March was composed by Mozart. Yes, the Turkish March was composed by Mozart. Very good. Uh, who wrote Hamlet? Volunteer, please. Rebecca? Hamlet was wrote 
quote. What is the past participle of write? Uh, it's written. Written. Uh -huh. Was written mm -hmm. by William Shakespeare. Hamlet was written by William Shakespeare. Good, thank you. And the last one, who built the pyramids? Mm -hmm. Who built the pyramids? Ah, the last one, the last one, come on. Okay, Marvin. The pyramids was built by Axian, Egyptian. Okay, just one problem. The pyramids, that's a plural noun. We can't say was. Uh, where? Mm -hmm. The pyramids were built by the ancient Egyptians. Okay. Hoy sí, me van a disculpar que se nos pasó un poquito el tiempo, pero no quería dejar esto en el aire. Um, si no tienen ninguna duda, vamos finalizando acá. Do you have any questions? No questions? No ok, no perfect. Entonces, really? recordemos, eh, ¿verdad? Trabajar en el Knowledge Check, que sería la sección 1.2 de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you very much, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye.